Hey, well, good day to you all. Uh, in this tutorial, we learn how to uh, how to orient yourself. Celestial orientation lesson one: how to orient yourself to the sun uh, with enough precision to orient your gun. Well, everybody thinks it is some kind of magic. It is not really a magic. It is quite simple if you have the uh, appropriate data and your aiming circle and everything else. Well, basically, what you obviously need it is your uh, aiming circle first it needs to be leveled obviously and uh, for this for this purpose uh, I added some I added some feature this uh, mod what did they add on options you can bring it up you have a new menu here which is art chart it's artillery chart if you enable it in the access menu when you want to use it uh, you will see it in the ace menu if you disable it you just won't see it you see now you have the equipment and you have the artillery celestial scar for 9th or 8th 9th of uh, January 9th of January so we set 9th of January here the, the uh, 9th of January it only works at 9 9th of January so don't even try another any other day because it will not work and how it works well uh, uh, this is basically astronomers to prepare these uh, charts for did prepare would use to prepare these charts for artillery demand because nowadays uh, you have all the software available even your 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 handheld device can be turned into a celestial uh, computer so you can pretty easily access all this data in real world but in Arma they don't work because Arma has some weird engine so I made it made up this some experimental thing I interpolated some data and uh, I made for one day which is uh, January 9th I made one day and one day you can follow the Sun so azimuth pretty easily you need to understand you need to know the time and if you know like let's say what time it is yeah let's say um, an, uh, a, a, a 14 12 you go to 1410 you know the 1410 azimuth of the sum which is 3529 and for every minute the azimuth changes 3.8 mils so you need to add uh, 2 times 3.8 and you get the 1412 azimuth of the sun and you also can get the elevation of the sun you come down here it's 1410 so you go like 8 9 10 11 12 14 10 it's about 40 30 it's 40 10 so you need the elevation approximately that would be going back it's about 450 mils so if you want to find the sun on the sky what you need is you need the 3529 azimuth and 450 elevation and you find the uh, the uh, sun on the sky but they uh, just approximately when we now we need to find this sun pretty accurately on how we do that uh, but basically we'll do we um, we'll calculate the sun's azimuth at what given time we will set that azimuth on the uh, on the black scale on the uh, absolute uh, a angle meter of the um, aiming circle and uh, keeping that reading on the aiming circle on the um, on the angle meter we will rotate the optics of the aiming circle intercept the sun and that way but basically we do uh, we will zero our aiming circle onto the sun's azimuth and uh, theoretically it will zero our aiming circle so what we need here is is uh, is the time the time is 10 what is it 10 24 the actual time will give us let's say three minutes to prepare so we need to need need the sun's azimuth at 10 27 let's bring up the azimuth chart and find the azimuth at 10 27 you see at 10 20 i'm writing here at 10 20 the azimuth is 2500 the sun's azimuth is 2535.9 and every minute the azimuth changes four meals that's what this column is all about so we need the azimuth at 10 27 so for this azimuth we need to add seven times four meals and that way we get the azimuth at 10 27 so what it is 2535.9 and you add seven times four mil that gives you 
2563.9 azimuth at 1027 and the elevation for 1027 let's do the discharge 10 it's about half plus 10 and the elevation would be 500 mils uh, around 500 mils so the elevation is fi 500 mils so 2500 2564 mils and uh, the uh, azimuth in 500 mils is the elevation at 1027 we don't need to charge this anymore close the reference card we get to the our pub as a gunner and first what we need it is to uh, set our azimuth for that design 2564 2564 we set to that azimuth 2564 200, my mouse is a little bit less sensitive because I need very high resolution here 2564 2530 40 50 60 4 now what I'm doing is I I'm just finding the Sun and now here I'm not rotating I'm rotating the entire uh, aiming circle you see without rotating the uh, without rotating the uh, angle meter and now I'm trying to find the Sun what it is it should be there yeah, there it is and what I'm doing here is I give the proper elevation you see the uh, the red button which is also rotate when I'm giving elevation is also a scale it also a mil scale and every rotation is 100 mils so one rotation I gave 100 mils elevation 200 mils elevation 3 4 it is about 500 mils of elevation good and now I should be looking at the Sun you see the Sun is on the behind the uh, that is that is where the Sun is uh, that's where the Sun is you see the Sun and what I need to do now here is to check on my azimuth which was 2564 which is just fine and with the arrows I check on the time also which was what 27 so it's now 27 20 seconds to 27 so when I'm getting close to 27 10 27 without moving the uh, aiming circle now as you see 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 set so I just m rotate the aiming circle without uh, touching the aiming circle but with the arrow keys and now I zeroed my aiming circle onto the Sun so theoretically if I'm not rotating the base plate n anymore I'm just rotating the uh, the bussole I am at absolutely right azimuth I'm looking absolutely at the right azimuth okay so how do I prove it well let's go to the map um, Let's go to the map and um, let's read what uh, azimuth we're looking at now. It is, uh, I'm looking at 3660 azimuth here. I bring up my map tools, let's say the small map tools. I align my map tool with uh, with the compass and what was on my azimuth was uh, 3660 and if I go here you see 3660 that's my azimuth what I'm looking at because I zeroed my aiming circle onto the Sun with good enough precision um, 
That's how you uh, intercept the sun and how you zero your aiming circle for one particular day. I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to play around with it, please set your date onto January, what was that? Uh, January 9th and the January 9th, if you play with that, you can have the sun's azimuth and you can zero your aiming circle and orient yourself uh, onto the sun. Have a wonderful day.